Hello. Hi, Jill. Yes. Hi, this is Kevin from True Green. Uh-huh. And, uh, it looks like there's been kind of a mix-up. We were supposed to do your neighbor's lawn, but we accidentally did yours instead. Oh, geez. And, um, but the thing is, we didn't put grass fertilizer on. We put the stuff that's going to kill your grass. Oh, that's bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to, like, it not, not only will it turn it yellow, but it's going to, like, shrivel up and come out of the ground, and you're just going to be left with dirt, a dirt lawn. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was supposed to go on Gregory's lawn. He's over on the, uh, around the corner from you. Well, can you do something to remedy that? Oh, no, no. It's irreversible. Well, then, can you plant grass? Because my husband's going to have a fit. Oh, I'm, no, no, nothing's ever going to grow there again. It's like there's a half-life of 45 years, I think it is. Like, nothing will ever grow on that plot of land again. Okay, well, that is a problem. I can't not have grass at my house. You could um, maybe put boards over the dirt and maybe do some above-ground gardens. like the Okay, dude, gar- like, I don't have money to put boards down and plant grass in my front yard. Oh, I'm just trying to make suggestions. Uh, prob- well, but you made the mistake. Yeah, I, the the trees will. So last- you guys are gonna have to, you're gonna have to remedy it. Well, the the trees. I, I mean, mean I, I'm not kidding. It, 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 oh, you I have know. to remedy. If you put it yeah. on my grass, if you kill my grass for forty years, you have to fix my grass. Well, uh, it's Gregory's fault because he wrote down the wrong address on his form because he renewed his contract with us this week. Well, I don't even know who Gregory is, so I don't really care who made the mistake, whether it was you or Gregory, but someone's going to pay to fix our grass. Well, I think Gregory's going to have to pay for it. Well, and I need your name and number because my husband's going to need to know about this. Yeah, your, your trees are going to die eventually, too. Wait, I, I, then you're going to need to replant trees. Like, dude, this no. is not... You picked the wrong day. I have a herniated disc in my back, and I am on a rampage already today, so, like, you picked the wrong day to spray the wrong yard. I'm just okay. telling you. Well, it's, like... They, they wrote down the wrong address. It's not my fault. Yeah, well, I didn't ask to have stuff put in my yard and kill my grass and my trees. I think you should talk to Gregory about it. I don't know who Gregory is, so I need your name and number, and then you can give me Gregory's name and number. But I can tell you, sure is all get out. Someone's fixing it if we have to sue. We, I'm not afraid. We, because I'm not going to have my grass and trees die because you guys didn't confirm the correct address or he wrote the wrong address down. Like, no way, no how, no possibility. We do have this one service we offer. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like AstroTurf. It's like a fake grass. It's basically carpet for your lawn, and it's green, though. Yeah, well, that will kill the resale value of your house, to have fake grass. No, it would be like the Brady Bunch. You know, it'll just it'll look perfect, and you'll never have to mow it again. You just have to go out there and vacuum occasionally. Well, what's the phone number of True Green? Uh, it's 1-800. And I have no idea who Gregory is. I, I, I don't know who that is. I've never met them. I've lived here for 10 years. I don't know who that is. Uh, well, he's around the corner. He's, he's over on... Well, we've and been, what's his last name? Oh, I can't give away customer info like that if you don't know who he is. Okay, well, then you're the one that's going to end up getting sued to fix my grass. Oh, you're not you suing me. you can't disclose the customer... I don't have did any... It. I didn't ask you to treat my grass. I didn't sign a contract. So if you sprayed my lawn and I did not sign a contract and you kill my grass, then you have been that's on my property without my permission and you killed my grass. Well, they're, so they're... I'm sorry that Gregory screwed up his paper. You can counter sue him if you want, but you're going to fix my grass and my trees. Well, if there's no contract, then there's no record, so you can't prove I did it. If you're going to be like that well, about it. I have you on the phone right here. And when my grass dies and I say to them, my grass died because this guy called me and told me he sprayed the wrong yard, then there's going to be a consequence. I was just trying to be nice. And I have you know. never, in 10 years, in 10 years, we've never had our yard treated on purpose. I don't like it. I have kids. I don't want to treat it. So the fact that someone sprayed my yard with something to kill grass for 40 years is ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't do Gregory's lawn, because we would have lost his business if we accidentally yeah, killed well, his lawn. my problem is that you've now ruined mine, so you have to fix it. Yeah, you need to repair it. At least we're not losing your business, though, I mean, since you don't even like having your lawn sprayed. You, no, I you're, don't. You're, you're like one of those mothers that, that won't, um, you know, give her kids antibiotics and stuff, because... No, my like, kids oh, do everything oh, else, but oh, I don't feel that we need to treat the grass. Chemicals are bad. Ugh. Well, and, and so... I will call this number, and I will contact my husband, and then we will have to contact a lawyer if you're not going to give us Gregory's number, because I don't know who Gregory oh, is on he, Bristol Cone. He lives around the street. He's the one with the rusty mailbox, the one that looks like a hobo lives there. 
because it's a rusty mailbox. And why would you have have something on your truck to spray to kill grass if that's not what you were supposed to do with him anyway? Well, it's a service we offer uh, for other people. Like, uh, you know, if, uh, if a, a large company is putting a building up and they need all the grass gone. This yeah, but how would you put the wrong thing on your truck in a residential neighborhood? Well, don't tell me how to do my job, lady. I, I'm just, uh, you know, I have... Well, you spray something to kill my grass! Okay, well, it's, it's not my fault. It's Gregory's fault. It is your fault. It's not something I asked for. You can't you sue me. You ruined my yard. What are you going to sue me for? I don't even have a savings account. You're not going to get anything out of me. I'll sue True Green. Oh, you're so sue happy. I'm sure True Green has a lot of money. Oh, not really. It's, it's, it's a it's a failing business model. It's it's not going to last much longer. Well, I'm kind of done with this conversation, so I'll contact my husband and have him get back okay. in touch with well, you. Well, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Hello, listeners. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Today is August 14th, 2018. This is episode 491. Holy shit, we're getting close to that episode 500. I should probably start putting that together soon. That intro that you heard today, that was made by Micro Corgi and Quickfire YT. They made that on a Nintendo Switch, and it's a trance version of the Shifty Pop theme song. Thanks, Micro Corgi and Quickfire YT. Today's show is brought to you by Lion9, Neekish, Stan Trucker, Buster Casey, and Carol Gertie 666 Those five people are responsible for everything you hear in today's episode. If you don't like anything, just blame them. Thanks everyone else for being supporters of the show too, including the new people that have signed up recently, like Gamer Grader, Kevin S, Ryan K, Victor Sa, Accential, Matthew F, Michael J, Adam H, Alexa Wetha. Shut up, Alexa. In Corvallis, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. God damn it. Clear skies and sun. God damn Today, it. Today, you can expect mostly sunny shut up. weather. With Alexa, a shut up. With a high of degrees and a low of 56 Alexa, degrees. be quiet. I kind of think that was on purpose. Thanks for that. Oh, weather. Uh, also, Benjamin N. and Not Pike are new supporters of the show. Thank you very much, everyone. As a supporter of the show, they get access to a bunch of secret shows, over a hundred of them now, at patreon.com slash phone losers. And we've also started doing a new thing just recently, just this past week, thanks to Nico. She somehow convinced me that I should start making the PLA ID cards that I used to make years ago. I've brought those back, but they're just for supporters. So if you're a $5 or more supporter of the show, you can get a PLA ID card. You can be a part of the Elite Cactus Squad, which is what the card says for some reason. I sent out a bunch of those this weekend and yesterday. So if you're on the Patreon and you ask for one of those from me, it is on the way or it's already there. I would think some of the people already have them by now because I know I sent a bunch of them out on Friday. If you want to know how to get your ID card, if you're a Patreon person, I'm not just going to send you one. You have to ask for it. So there are instructions on patreon.com slash phone losers. I'll put a link to that in the show notes. And if you're not a Patreon and you still want an ID card, too bad. Sucks to be you. You don't get one. Neener, neener. The most recent Hobo Sode was released yesterday. We had some fun on that one. We got to talk to this guy. Who the fuck are you? This is Roy from the Yacht Club. I don't think so. Why don't you Who's think your so? boss? I don't have to tell you who my boss is. I, I well, just... you got to tell me a lot of fucking shit. I got your number and I'm doing a redial right now. I got it. You are, you are in a lot of shit, to asshole. You, you better not. You better, you better not redial. That was one of the many calls on yesterday's hobo sode. That's a long one. That one was 37 minutes long. So if you want to hear the rest of those, patreon.com slash phone losers. Uh, announcements. I don't think I have any announcements. I would like to say thank you to the people who have been sending me things in the mail because I have gotten a few crazy things in the mail lately. Uh, number one is a clock radio, I guess you might call it. You know the old prank clock that I put up over at phonelosers.com slash clock? I put that back up recently, by the way, if anyone wants to take a look at it. But it sucks because Chrome has disabled autoplaying audio, so it doesn't autoplay the times anymore, which makes the whole thing useless. Anyway, a guy named Raj 
I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. He sent me a real physical PLA clock, and I haven't tried it out at the, the times where it would actually announce things yet, but you guys should see this thing. It's like a cube. I think it's a Raspberry Pi or something. I'm trying to plug it in right now. You turn it on, and a screen is on. To the botnet. We love you. There's a screen on it. It has the PLA logo. This thing is amazing looking. And it boots up a thing called Cactus OS or Cact OS. Cact OS, get it? 1.1.4. And I haven't played around with it a lot yet, um, but it seems like it does some pretty amazing things. It has a music player in it, it's got a clock built in. If I go to the music player and I just. Losers of America. It's, what are they trying to say? It's just got a bunch of cl- clips in it. Shut up. Holy shit, okay. Let me go forward. So it, it's, a, it's an MP3 player. It's filled with PLA songs. But you guys need to see this thing. I really, I've been meaning to make a video of this thing because it's so insane how much detail he put into this thing. I've been trying not to mess with it too much because I want to wait until I do the video of it. But I need to do that very soon. Also, yesterday in the mail, I got an embroidered PLA cap that has the Wisconsin Motorcycle Bell logo, wink, wink thing on it. You know, the Harley logo. Don't tell. And he did it in cool colors, and it's a really cool looking hat. I'm going to wear this everywhere. Thanks, Richard, for that. And Nicholas Caesar sent me this weird thing the other day. I mean, he sent me a bunch of art, which was cool. He does that quite a bit. Sends me all of the uh, original artwork that he makes for the show. But I don't even know how to describe what he sent me. It's this weird um, device for taking tests from home if you're homeschooled i guess i don't completely understand it it's another thing that i need to make a video of i'm gonna put all this stuff in one single video i really need to do this soon maybe i'll do this tomorrow and mr biggs he sent me a bottle of mr biggs glue and a package with a wet wipe in it from whiz bangs that was pretty awesome and then the craziest thing arrived today and the person who sent this wishes to remain anonymous for some reason but he sent me a physical soundboard like something, I guess, that radio stations used to use. And it's got a hard drive built into it. It's like a SCSI hard drive. It's the weirdest thing. It's called an instant replay. And I've already loaded it up with PLA sounds. So it's got all the standard soundboard stuff. I'll show that in the video too. But it is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. I've been playing around with it for the past two hours. So I don't even know if I'm going to get today's show done today because I've been playing with the soundboard. But I will make a video of the weird stuff I've gotten in the mail recently. Thanks, everybody, for sending me things. Today is True Green Tuesday, so you know what that means. Hello? Hello, Rich? Yes. Hey, it's Big Dave from True Green, you know, the lawn people. Okay. And we accidentally sent our workers to your house on West Court. Yeah. They're going to be showing up there. They're going to put rocks down in your lawn. What? They're going to put rocks down in the lawn? Yeah, yeah. You know, like the decorative landscaping rocks? Uh, not really, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna put down tarp, like plastic tarp over your entire lawn, and they're going to cover your lawn in rocks. All of it. Are you there? Yes. I, I don't get it. Well, I, so is this, uh, you mean they're going to the, the wrong place? Yeah, they're going to your place by mistake. Okay. And they're going to put down rocks in your yard. So I just thought I'd let... Okay, so what do I do when they get here? Uh, Just let them do it. No, I don't want it. What do you mean? I don't want them to do it. Yeah, but we've already filled out the paperwork. It's in the computer. They're going to do it. You're kidding, aren't you? No, I'm not kidding. It's going to be nicer, you know, to look nicer than what you have right now. It's going to be rocks where the grass is. Correct. Yeah, you won't have grass anymore. You won't have to mow. I, I, I know you're kidding. No, I wouldn't kid about this. Well, you better call him and tell him not to come. They must have cell phones. Oh, no, his cell phone, it, it got shut off for non-payment. Well, then I'll just tell him if he's at the no, wrong place. What but, time are they supposed to be here? Oh, uh, they should be there any second. But, no, we don't want them to, like, like just go ahead and let them do it. it. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. I don't want rocks where the grass is. Why not? Because I don't like rocks. Yeah, but it, it looks nicer than grass. It's better for the environment because you don't have to mow. Yeah, who else has it around here? 
I don't know. Probably nobody. Um, we were supposed to do it at this other house about, you know, like a, about a mile away from you. So, you were supposed to, so instead of going there, you're coming here. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do the other guy tomorrow. But we're going to well, do... How'd you get my address? Uh, I, my, my secretary, Carol, she is kind of a fuck-up, and she just, she put the wrong address in the computer. I think she was just looking at random addresses on, on... Yeah, well, I'll just tell them when they get here not to do it. Well, no, don't do that, because they're, they're, we paid them already to do the job, so they need to do I it. I don't care what you did. It's going to look nicer. I've seen pictures of I your yard. I don't want it. I don't want it. I drove by your house. I, I saw your lawn. It doesn't look nice. Like, this will look nice. Well, thank you. I, 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 I'll be the judge of whether it does or doesn't. Well, you're not a very good judge, because your lawn looks... Well, like... apparently that's right, but I'll just keep on judging. Okay, but yeah, anyway, they're definitely going to put the rocks down. Well, they definitely aren't. Oh, no, they have to. Like, it, it's in the computer. No, they don't. It's in the computer. They've got the paperwork. Oh, it's in the computer. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm well, letting you know. this is a great joke. I'll tell you what, you, you, you're pulling a good one. Uh, this isn't a joke. They're, they're coming. <laughs> it is for me. It will be for you, too. Well, I don't even know what that means. I'm just well, I don't know what it means either. I'm just trying to but do I my know job. It's not going to mean rocks on the lawn. I'm just trying to do my job. Yeah, there's definitely going to be well, rocks on the lawn. You keep on doing it. Oh, I'm trying to do it. You, you, you won't love okay. me. You're, you're being difficult. I, I, yeah, I know. I'm a very difficult person. Yep. Well, I'm going to hang up, okay? Good. I hope you hang up. Yeah, okay. Well, you make sure you tell them not to come. N it's too late. They're on their way. They're, okay, They're going to show right. up there in trucks. It isn't all right, and uh, you better not. Oh, they will. That's a very difficult customer. Hello? Hello, Kathleen? Yes? It's Big Dave from Two Green. I needed to let you know we've accidentally um, put your address in the computer. The, we were supposed to do this different address on your street for some landscaping work. Uh, we, don't, we don't use True Green. I know Thank that. You. I know. No, we're I'm, not customers. I know you're not. I'm saying we accidentally put your address in the computer and they're going to show up today. It was an accident. Uh, well, I'm not home, so good luck. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, they're going to show up there. They're going to put rocks in your lawn, like those landscaping they're rocks. They're not put rocks in my lawn. <laughs> uh, no, they're definitely doing it. You're not there to tell them to stop? Nope. I'm sure not. Okay. Well, when you get um, when you get to your house again, instead of grass, you're going to have just nothing but those decorative rocks. Well, somebody better get them off of my lawn. Well, it's too late. Very quickly. I've already sent them out. There's like three trucks on the way. It's about three thousand pounds of rocks. I hope you're joking. No, I, I wouldn't kid about this. They're going to put tarps down where your grass is, and they're going to put rocks down. So instead of grass, you're gonna, you won't have to mow anymore. Somebody good... better get out there and stop them, or you're going to have a nice big suit on your hands. Well, no, I'm the only one working here today, so I can't really leave. So you better find somebody to take care of it. Okay. Well, you better find somebody very quickly well, to the, take care of it, because well, otherwise you're going to have a lot of legal issues. Well, it's too late. You know, they're just they're they're on their way. It's going to happen. You it just, can never be too late. You, you need, better find somebody who can take care of it. You need to just accept it. You're going to have rocks in your lawn. No, I'm not going to just accept it. I'm not having five truckloads of rock in my lawn. It's only four truckloads. So truck you loads. better find somebody. You better find out somebody who can take care of it. Okay, well, n there is nobody. Or you'll be like, getting a phone call from a lawyer very soon. Thank you very much. When you see it, you're going to like it. Because it's going to cover up her hobo lawn. I think she'd appreciate that. Hello? Hello, Connie? Yes. Yeah. Hey there, it's, it's Big Dave. I'm with True Green. I needed to let you know we accidentally um, sent our workmen to your address. We were supposed to do someone else on the same street. Wow, this is... <laughs> What? I've been warned about this. Uh, thank you very much. Bye. Warned about what? Uh-oh. What's she been warned about? Prank calls or just True Green? Like, does True Green have a reputation around there? Tom. Hello, Tom. Yeah. It's Big Dave from True Green. I needed to let you know we accidentally um, treated your lawn this week. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, for what? For what? Uh, uh, we just we sprayed the the entire lawn. We sprayed it with some uh, chemical stuff. Was it good or bad? 
Well, it depends on how you look at it. It's a grass killer. You kill my grass? Well, not yet. It's it's um, but it's slow. It's slowly gonna wither away uh, over the next uh, about you know just the next few days. Because it's <laughs> oh got, my gosh! Yeah, this guy up the street he wanted to get rocks put in his yard, but we accidentally sprayed your lawn instead. You sprayed twelve. Yep. Yep, that's what we did. Oh Sorry about gosh. that. Well, what are you going to do about it? Uh, we're going to go ahead and deliver the rocks to your house. Rocks? Uh, yeah, like landscaping I... rocks, like gravel. <laughs> you got to be kidding. You got to be a joke. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't kid about. I take my job very seriously. Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't want rocks in my yard. Oh, well, it's too late now. We've already sprayed the grass killer down. Okay. So we're just well, gonna, okay. We're going to go ahead. I don't and, know who you are, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, uh, you you got to be a fool, okay? I'm not a fool. Uh, it wasn't my fault. It was my secretary, Carol. Uh, well, see you, see you later, buddy, I okay? Can, I can let you talk to Carol. You can call her a fool if you want. Uh, uh, why don't you put the... Uh, why don't you have somebody from True Green call me? I am from True Green, okay. you idiot. You're from True Green? Yes. That's why I'm calling you. Didn't, and you uh, you telling me you're going to bring rocks over here and put them in my yard? Yeah, because we accidentally sprayed grass killer. You're going to cover my yard up with rocks? It, it looks nice. It looks nicer than grass. And you don't have to mow anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, buddy. If I ever see you, find you, or know who you are, and I'm going to research this call. I am going to have you removed from wherever you're living because it is. This is not uh, funny to me. Okay. Why are you laughing so, so much? So uh, I'm, I'm going to have you arrested if I can find you. Okay. No. So don't ever call me again. Don't do that. Crap, you guys. Shit's getting serious. So luckily, I'm on the very end of this directory. This is the same directory I've been calling for the past week because it seems like they've all been warned about the calls. That tends to happen when I call the entire directory. Hello? Hey there, is it Michael? Yeah, speaking. Okay, hey, uh, this is Big Dave from Two Green. I needed to let you know we, um, we're, we're coming to your house today. Uh, we, we got the wrong address on the form. So we've already yeah. we've already sent the workmen out and they're on their way to your house. They're going to be doing oh. some they're going to be doing some work at your house. What, what, what work are they doing? I'm sorry. What? Sorry. What was that? What sort of work are they doing? Uh, they're going to be uh, putting tarps down over your entire lawn, and they're going to put rocks down, like you know, decorative. Why are you doing? Why are you doing that? Decorative landscaping rocks because it looks nicer than grass. Yeah, well, we didn't ask for this. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's uh, the, they're they're already on their way. They're coming there yeah. with four full trucks of of rocks. And so, what do you want me to do? Try to send them away? Oh no, no, they're definitely doing it. Uh, it's already in the computer. I filled out the paperwork. They're going to be doing your address today. You don't have to pay so for it is, though; it's free. Yeah, but we haven't we haven't asked for anything. I know, but um, it was just a mistake in the computer. My secretary, she, she did it. It's her fault. She just mixed up some house numbers. Well, we could so, just send the, send the guys away so you don't do anything unnecessarily. Well, yeah, but the trucks are already on their way. So it, it's just too late at this point. They're going to do it. Well, we didn't ask for it, so we don't want anything done, okay? Well, no. So you better recall the trucks. Well, I can't recall the trucks. They they don't have a cell phone. His cell phone got shut off because he didn't pay the bill. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to I'll call my wife and tell them to go away. No, no, don't do that because they have to do the job or they won't get paid. Yeah, but I don't want it done. I've already paid. And I didn't order anything. Yeah, but I've already paid for it, so it just needs to be done. Just l let them be, okay? They're going to put rocks down. I don't want rocks down. I don't want anything. Thank you. Well, how do you um, know? Like, have you ever seen that before? Like, it looks nicer than grass, and you don't have to mow anymore. No, thank you very much. It's it's better. Be kind enough. It's better. It's, we don't want it, so please don't bother us. But it's, okay. It's better for the earth. What do you hate the earth? No, I don't, and I don't like being hustled either. Well, so I'll just call my wife, and we'll make sure she would.
do any work. I'm, thank you very much for letting me know. I'm not hustling you. It was just an uh, uh, honest mistake. Sorry about that. But it's okay. We, we, we like our law, and thank you so much. But at least you get free rocks out of it, right? I don't want any free rocks. This is, it's, it's like 30, 30, tons, 30 tons of rocks for free. You're oh, welcome. Thank you. thank you very much indeed. Well, they're on their way. It's thank happening. You. I mean, really, they could just sell the rocks, right? They could make a fortune. 30 tons of rocks, that's got to be worth something. I have no idea how many pounds of rocks it would take to cover up a lawn. 30 tons sounds right, doesn't it? Hello? Hello, Mrs. Strobel? Yes. Hey, it's Big Dave from True Green. Yes. And I need to let you know, we accidentally sprayed your lawn this week. Like over the weekend, they showed up and they sprayed your lawn. I'll be danged. Yeah. With so what? It, it's uh, just this chemical stuff. They were supposed to spray someone down the street, and they accidentally did your lawn instead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I is it a fertilizer or a bug killer or what? Oh, neither. It's um, it's this stuff that genetically modifies your grass, and it's going to make your grass turn blue. No. Yeah, like the entire lawn's going to turn blue permanently. It is not. You're kidding. No, I wouldn't kid about this. I'm so sorry. It was supposed to be the people down the street, and they, they just got the addresses mixed up, like they transposed some numbers. Why would somebody want their yard sprayed blue? Because, I don't know, like everyone has a green lawn. Wouldn't you rather have a blue lawn? It's like those people that no. put, get red sidewalks instead of normal color gray sidewalks. There's, someone wants to be different. We get orders for all different colors, like hot pink, bright green, you know, fluorescent so green. So what are you going to do about it? Well, nothing. It's done. Like, it's, uh, it's going to be genetically modified. But I, don't, but I don't want a blue lawn. Well, have you ever seen a blue lawn? It looks pretty amazing. Like, it's not just blue, blue. It's like this really metallic looking blue. This is a prank call. No, it's not. It's it's like a like a beetle's wings. You know how those are like this metallic color type of blue. <sighs> Your lawn's gonna be that. Like it's gonna shimmer. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna sue your socks off. No, th why would you do that? It's gonna look better. It's gonna look so much better than it looks now. Like you're gonna sue us for doing you a favor. <laughs> This is not a favor to me. Well, you haven't even seen it yet. Like, just give it a few days. The, the modifications will go into effect. If you water it, it'll happen quicker. Like, if you get out there and just water your lawn, if, you know, over the next few days, it'll happen quicker. It'll turn blue, like, like metallic blue. Like a, a deep blue. Like, it's not bright blue. It's not going to look like a cartoon or anything. And, and you are, again, from True Green Chemlon? Yeah, that's me. This is Big Dave. And it, it wasn't my fault. It was Carol's fault. That's my secretary. She works here. I can put her on the phone if you want. She can apologize to you. No, I but, want you to come here and replace my whole yard. Well, can you just... I want it replaced. I want it resodded. Oh, no, no. We, don't, we wouldn't need to do that. We would just need to uh, apply a new... Uh, a thing of genetic modification to it. And, to and turn it back green again. Yeah, I don't know if it'd be the same shade of green, but it'd be very close. I know this is a prank call. Why do you say that? Because it's ridiculous. Nobody would want to do that, and nobody would spray my lawn because I only have half a lawn anyway. Yeah, well, they got the wrong address. They, they thought that's what you wanted. So who... So whose address were they supposed to have? I can't tell you what that. What house number? I, I can't. T it was another one there, though, on f Road South. Okay, well, there you go, because, see, I don't live on f Road South. Where do you live? I'm not telling you. Why not? I'm not going to spray your lawn. I, I do not live there, and I know that that's mis... D misprinted in the phone book. I see. 
Like, uh, what that you, is not me. What are you trying to hide? Why are you trying to mislead people like that? I didn't do it. Well, the, it seems like if you know about it, you did it. Seems like I'm hanging up. On seems you. like you would fix it if you knew about it. Well, I guess that's a relief for her since she has the wrong listing in the directory. It's not going to be her lawn that turns blue, an amazing metallic blue, which I would be excited to get. Wouldn't that be awesome? Like you go down the street and everyone's lawn is a different color. At least the blades of grass weren't growing stalks of corn. She should be happy about that because that's hard on the feet. It's like stepping on Legos. Hello. Hello, Joanne. Yes. It's Big Dave from True Green, the lawn company. I I needed to let you know we accidentally sprayed your lawn this weekend. Oh. Yeah. So, sorry about that. We were supposed to do this other house on your street, and we accidentally sprayed your lawn instead. How did you know my first name? Um, it's in the computer here. But we've never used your service. Right, but we uh, share data with other companies. Oh. So what company have you let know that you sprayed our lawn? Oh, um, well, I, there's a lot of companies that we all share data but anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm, I'm just letting you know, we accidentally sprayed your lawn, and I'm very sorry about that. What number on our street were you supposed to spray? Uh, I can't tell you that. That's private information. But we, we sprayed yours. Three. What did you spray it with? Uh, it's this uh, growth acceleration formula. It's going to make your grass grow incredibly fast over the next few weeks. Well, it doesn't need to do that because it's already growing really fast. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking like it's gonna it's gonna get very rigid and it's gonna stick up about a foot in the air. Well, that is not good to hear. Yeah. So I'll have my lawn company get in touch with yours, and if there's any extra expense, I would expect you to cover that. Well, there's no extra expense. It's it's gonna make your lawn nicer. It's gonna um it's gonna look much more full and rich. It's just gonna be about a foot tall. Well, I appreciate the call. Thank you. Anywhere from a foot to a foot and a half. Well, that's not great news for us. Well, it just, I'll tell my husband. Thank you. You just need to mow your lawn more. That's not a big deal. <laughs> Why would anyone get that? Something to make their lawn a foot tall. I think it needs to be three foot tall. Like the lawn next door to me. You guys should see it. It's crazy. It's at least two feet tall out there. I think they're growing crops or something. Hello, Judy? Yes. It's Big Dave from Two Green. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi, pretty good. I needed to let you know we accidentally uh, sprayed your lawn over the weekend. I don't understand what you're talking about. The one in... Yeah, yep, the one 23 road. We were supposed right. To, we were supposed you to accidentally do... sprayed it? What do you mean? Uh, we, we sprayed it with some uh, chemical stuff. We were supposed to do someone down the street, and we accidentally did yours instead. So what's it going to do to my lawn? Uh, it's going to make it grow incredibly fast. The grass is going to get up to about three feet tall. <laughs> no, really. What's going to happen? Uh, no, I'm completely serious. It's this uh, genetic modification stuff. It's like a, a growth formula. The, the grass. got to speak to my husband. This doesn't sound too good. The grass is going to be up to your waist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this sounds like uh, a, some sort of scam here. Here's my husband. No, I'm Hold not on. trying to charge you money. I'm just saying sorry. Well, saying you're sorry is not going to help. That was a lawn that was put in a sod well, at, least I'm at not... a great, great expense to us a couple of years ago. Yeah, but I'm not charging money, so you're welcome. I don't understand, but we didn't ask for you to do it. Yeah, it was an accident. We were supposed to do someone down the street. But is it going to ruin my lawn? No, no, it won't ruin it. You'll just need to mow it more often. Like, you'll mow it, and the next day it'll be like uh, six inches All right, already. You better speak to my husband here. All right. True Green accidentally sprayed our lawn. It's some sort of genetically modified thing to make it grow really Hello? Hello, Paul? Yeah. Hey, it's Big Dave from True Green. I'm, I'm sorry, we just accidentally sprayed your lawn. There's no charge or anything. She thinks all I'm right. trying to scam her. But, okay. yeah, that's all. It's not a big deal. It'll wear off in about a year. 
what's going to wear off in a year? The, the chemicals that we sprayed. Uh-huh. Can they harm the grass in any way? No, no, it won't harm it at all. It's just going to grow really fast from now on. Uh, well, I have it mowed, uh, I think, every week. Yeah, you're going to want to do it at least twice a week because um, it's going to grow up to about about three feet tall. The grass is going to be much more rigid than it is right now, and it's going to be, like, waist high. Well, wh why did you do it? By mistake or what? Yeah, yeah, by mistake. We were supposed to do someone down the street, like way down the street, but uh, my secretary, Carol, she messed up. In the computer, she put the wrong house number. He's an idiot. Uh, and Dave, w what is your phone number? Uh, four two zero six nine six nine. So the grass is going to grow very, very fast. Yeah, very fast, very tall. It it, it can get up to three feet tall. It's definitely going to be waist high. So what are we going to have to do with that? Um, probably uh, have your landscaping person come over maybe two or three times a week. Why? And who's going to pay for that? You are. Why? Well, it's not my job to pay for your landscaping. It, it was just a mistake, you know? What do you mean it was just a mistake? It was your mistake, not mine, right? Well, no, it was Carol. I can put Carol on the phone and have her apologize if you want. Who's Carol? My secretary. She she's an idiot. Like she put the, she reversed the numbers in the on in the computer. And this is going to cause the grass to grow very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Like you'll mow it, and the next day it'll be like six inches tall already. Like it grows really, really fast now. Well, you know, uh, I, I mean, this is. Well, we'll have to have it cut more frequently, but I'm not going to pay for that. You guys will pay for that. So, I mean, you're speaking. You don't even seem to be. You, know, you don't even seem to be concerned about this. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I don't know you. Like, just have a neighborhood kid cut it then. You know, give him five bucks. Well, first of all, people don't cut it for five bucks. I have a lawn service. But you say this is going to grow how quickly? Uh, about six inches a day. Like, tell that lady in the background to be quiet. She keeps talking. I mean, she can keep talking because she's asking me something. Well, she's interrupting. Like, we're trying to have a conversation, and she keeps interrupting. She's just like Carol, basically. Who's Carol? My secretary. She's the one that messed up your address. Well, look. If she messed up our address, and now the grass is going to keep growing very quickly, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I should have Carol come over and mow your lawn, right? Well, uh, you know, uh, you can have anyone you want, but I don't want anyone on my lawn that I don't know about, okay? Right. And uh, I, I'm, uh, you know... That'd be a good punishment for her, though, you know, like make her go mow the lawn. A couple times? Uh, you know something, you know, I don't know if you're putting me on or not, but, you know, this is... Uh, how did you get the number that I'm at now? Uh, we just looked it up. It's on the Internet. And your name is Dave, and your phone number is 420-6969? Yeah, Big Dave. Well, you know, Dave, you know, Dave. you may seem very, you know... Uh, that this is not a big deal to you. It's a big deal to me. I'm not in the area, so I'm going to have to hire someone to do that. Yeah. Right? Well, that's fine. Like, I'll see how much Carol would charge. Well, who, well Carol works for you, right? Yeah, but like, she, she's the one that messed this up. i got to punish her somehow. Like, Maybe she'll do it for free for a few times at least. I don't understand. She works for you, right? Yeah, she's the secretary here. I can put her on the phone. No, if she works for you, it's your responsibility. Hello, this is Carol. I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I, was, I was putting the number in the computer, and I was on my well, period. Well, I, I, I know you may be sorry, but that doesn't fix things. 
Can you put Dave back on? Yeah, I just I wanted to say I'm sorry. I was on my period that day. Uh huh. All right, I'm back. So you put something on my my lawn that's going to make it grow very quickly, right? Yeah, it's a growth serum. Uh, well, I'm going to have that taken care of, but you guys are going to pay for it. Well, I guess I guess we could go over there and maybe like put a um a you know like a anti growth thing on it. No, like a don't, a don't cure. do that. We 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 put in a sawed lawn for thousands and thousands of dollars. So, you know, don't make a bad thing even worse. Oh, no, no, we could make it stop growing so much. I think you'd like this, though, because it, it makes the grass much more fuller and rich. Like, you get to appreciate all the grass that you planted more because it's, there, there's, uh, you know, 30 times more of it. Uh did this sounds so so way way out to me? So what? And this sounds way out to me, and what, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, this is your number is four two zero six nine six nine. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hey, it's 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 Carol again. Big Dave had to run to the bathroom. He has IBS. What is IBS? Oh, you're about, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll well, he'll be he'll just be like 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, you know something, something screwy is going on. What? Uh, something screwy is going on. Uh, if that lawn grows very quickly and it has to be mowed more often, I'm sorry. You guys are gonna, you guys are going to pay for it. I don't really want to mow a lawn though. That sounds hard. I don't think I know how Pardon, to work uh, a lawn mower. I can't hear you. I don't know how to work a lawnmower. Because you got to pull the know, thing to make I'm it. I'm not asking you to do that. I could have someone do it, but you guys are going to pay for yeah, it. Yeah, but I heard Big Dave was saying that you were going to make me do that. And I don't even know how to start a lawnmower. I, like, if, if you're there and you can start it for me, I could probably push it around. This, this, has, to be, this has to be a put on. Don't listen to that lady. Like, what's she saying? Tell her to be quiet. Oh, he listened to her. He hung up. This is Cindy speaking. Hey, Cindy. Uh, this is Big Dave from True Green. Hey, hi. How are you? Pretty good. I needed to let you know we accidentally um, sprayed your lawn this weekend. We were supposed to do this other lawn on your street. So, yep, we, we accidentally just sprayed the entire lawn. Sorry about that. With what? Uh, it's like um, uh, air freshener, like Glade. Like, did you, have you been out there yet? Did you notice it smells really good? Cindy? Who is this? Uh, th this is Big Dave from True Green. Why would you spray air freshener on my lawn? Well, it's not exactly air freshener. It's a, it's a chemicalized version, like that we put on the machine, and you know it covers your entire lawn, but it just makes it smell nicer. It's good for people that have okay. allergies and stuff. Are Are you serious? Yeah, it's not going to hurt it or anything. It's fine. It's just your yard's going to smell like really fresh for the next three months. I didn't smell anything on my yard. You should like go out there and try it out. It smells amazing. I've it's been out there. The the lemon scented stuff. You didn't smell lemon. <sighs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, just not, it was my secretary. She she gave the wrong address. She put the wrong address in the computer. Okay. I I just feel like this is a prank call. I really do. I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, no, it's, it's a real thing. You should look it up. It's definitely something we do. Okay. Well, I will. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, sure. No problem. I, I hope it's not an issue, like you're not allergic to, like, lemons or anything like that. No. Okay. Well, good. Yep. And you're, you're going to want to keep pets and children away from the lawn for the next three months. 
well, that's rather impossible because I have a dog. Okay. Well, I was just kidding about that part. Just kidding. Okay. Just kidding about the last part. The rest of it's real. Okay. I've just honestly never heard of such a thing, but. Yep. It's a real thing. Like hopefully, okay. hopefully your neighbors won't complain that it smells like lemons coming from your yard. Well, well, I'm just out of curiosity. What, which address were you supposed to have sprayed? Oh, I'm not telling you that. Like we're, we're not supposed, that's like private customer information. You could be like a identity thief or something. I don't know. So what was the address of my house that you sprayed? Uh, two lane. Okay. Well, that is my address. Yep. I know. Yep. Okay. Lemon fresh. Well, thanks for the phone call. Go out there and take a whiff. I will. Like when your dog shits in the yard now, it's not going to smell as bad. All right. Well, you have a great day. You too. I don't think she's buying it. Hello. Hello, Steve. Yes. Hey there. It's uh, Big Dave from True Green. I needed to let you know that we accidentally sprayed your lawn this weekend. Okay. By by accident. Um, It was supposed to be someone else's lawn. Okay. Is that sprayed it for what? Um, well, they, they, they sprayed it. It, w- it was this anniversary stunt uh, the husband was doing for a wife. Um, it, it's like your lawn, it's going it, it, to gonna like kind of discolor on a certain area, and it's going to okay. say, Happy Anniversary, Carol. <laughs> and it was supposed to okay. be this completely different address in your neighborhood. Oh. Okay, so where'd you do? Where'd they spray it at? Uh, right in the front, where she'd see it. Okay, well, it, I don't see anything now. Is it going to happen? Oh yeah, yeah, it's going to slowly uh, wither over time. Her anniversary is not until next week, so uh, the grass is going to kind of turn brown and fall out, and in that area, it's going to say "Happy Anniversary, Carol." <laughs> okay. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, should I see something now, or would I see something now? Uh, probably not yet, because we just did it this weekend. Okay. It's going to take a few days for the for the okay. chemical to, like, set in and completely uh, burn the grass and kill it. Make oh, it, it's going to kill the grass? Yeah, well, just where it says, Happy Anniversary, Carol. It's going to make it turn brown, and it's going to fall out. And then you'll be able to... Will the grass recover or... Oh, no, no, the grass is gone. It's always going to say happy anniversary, Carol. You're kidding. No. It's it's like a heavy-duty industrial strength type of stuff, so you, you probably won't be able to even plant grass there for at least another year. Uh, who, who, you know, when I picked up the phone, I didn't hear your first name. What is, what is your name again? Uh, Big Dave. And this is who? From what company? Uh, Big Dave from True Green. Kimlon. Well, I mean, so what are you going to do about it? I'm just calling to apologize. It's um, my um, coworker Chad. He he put the address wrong on the paperwork. So well, I don't want just, I don't want dead grass. I mean, what? Yeah, but it, it's like a nice message. It's a you know, it's a positive thing. It's not like it's a. I song. hope this is. I hope this is a joke. <clears throat> no, I, I wouldn't kid about this. I'm a Christian. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's just an honest mistake, and I'm very sorry about it. But you'll you'll see the the writing. Uh, you know, in a few more days, it'll come out pretty clear. Happy anniversary, Carol. Oh, you're pretty cavalier about this, so I hope this is a joke. No, if it's not a joke, <clears throat> I'll be contacting you. Okay, well that that's that's fine. I already apologized to you. I'm not sure what else you want me to do. Well, you caused like, damage. I expect you to fix it. Well, it's not damage really. It's just a lawn. Actually, uh, it'll okay. We're done talking. No, well, okay, no, it'll probably care. be better for the earth because it'll allow some oxygen to come okay, through, bye. and the lawn won't be blocking it out. The earth can breathe for once. It's not being suffocated by the lawn. Have I ever been called Cavalier before? That was kind of nice. That was a cool word to be called. Cavalier, adjective, showing lack of proper concern, offhand. I'd say that sums me up pretty good. 
I was trying to say to him, he interrupted me, but I was trying to say at least it's not a swastika or like a fuck you from like a, you know, like a divorcing couple or something. We get orders for those a lot. People writing fuck you to each other in their lawns. Maybe I should call someone and say we did that. Or say that it says child molester. They're like, yeah, we, we thought we got the address for the child molester down the street. Hello. Hello, Mike. Yes. Hey there, it's Big Dave from True Green. Listen, listen, can you hold on just a second? How come? What are you doing? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I have a hard time hearing on, on the thing. And who is this calling? Uh, I'm from True Green. It's Big Dave. We accidentally, um, our workers are on their way to your house right now. They're going to put some rocks down in your yard. They're going to do what? They're going to put rocks down on your lawn. Um, we got the wrong address. We were supposed to do the neighbor's address, but we're doing yours instead by accident. Okay. So I'm just letting you know, like when, when you get home and you don't have a lawn anymore and instead it's rocks, that's our fault. Sorry about that. Okay, here, just a second. Talk to my wife just a second because she does more of that. Okay. I'm doing something on the lawn. Hello? Hello, Ginger? Oh, shoot. Hello? Hello? Hello, Ginger? It's on Here, your I'm hearing sorry. aids, Mike. Listen, could you do me a favor? Okay. I have my hearing aids in, and it's coming in over my hearing aids, and my wife can't hear. I'm going to take the hearing aids out. Could you just call her back on her cell phone? Okay, sure. Okay, her number is 6639. 6639? They're okay. almost identical. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. He had his cell phone hooked up directly to his hearing aid. That's the coolest thing ever. I can't wait to be old, be able to do cool stuff like that. Be like a cyborg. Hello? Hello, Ginger? Yes. Hey, it's Big Dave from True Green. From True Green? Yeah, yeah, um... We, we don't usually work on your lawn, but we accidentally, um, we, we put your address in the computer, and there's uh, some trucks on their way to your house right now. They're going to put rocks down in your lawn. Why? Well, I don't want rocks. Why would I want rocks on my lawn? They're, they're decorative. They're like landscaping rocks. And they're like, I, I don't want any landscaping rocks. Yeah, yeah. We just, um, my, secretary, my secretary made a mistake on the computer and accidentally put down your address instead. It's supposed to be going to this uh, other person, like around the corner from you. Well, can they just t take them off of my lawn and put them uh, and ha take them to where they're supposed to go? Oh, uh, no, it's too late. It, they're already on the way. They're probably almost there by now. They're going to put tarp down over all of the grass, and then they're going to cover the lawn. Yeah. And in rocks. Excuse me, why can't, why can't you call them and tell them not to do it? Um, that is the wrong house. Because my cell phone's almost out of minutes. This sounds so, like a funny conversation to me. I think this is a joke. Funny? What do you mean funny? Ginger? I'm going home now. Bye. You're going home? Well, nope. <laughs> Don't interfere with the work people. Let them do their job. Everyone seems to know I'm a jokester today. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Shay? Yes. Hey, it's Big Day from True Green. And um, I needed to let you know, we accidentally um, put your address down on a work form. We were supposed to do your neighbor. Uh-huh. So <laughs> we're, we're going to be um, treating your lawn today. Okay, gotcha. Th this is from where? Uh, True Green, and we're going to be uh, treating your lawn on 105 Drive. Uh-huh. Tutoring? Is that what you said? Uh, treating. You know, we're going to be uh, doing some lawn work at your place. Got gotcha. Are you with Uh No, True Green. Um, the trucks are already on their way, and I don't oh, have... Oh, okay. I don't Is have... this something that we scheduled? Sorry, I, I'm not aware of it at oh, all. No, no, it's a complete accident. We were supposed to do the neighbor's house. But, um, oh, put, I see. We put the wrong um, address on the form, so they're going to be at your house instead, and they're they're going to replace okay. all of your grass with rocks. With rocks? Yeah, landscaping rocks. 
Okay. Do I need to stop them when they get here? Oh no, no. Just let them go ahead and do it. It's already, um, it's already paid for, and we already ordered the rocks. Like a different company's bringing the rocks in. It's going to be like six truckfuls of rocks. But wait, like over I'm so confused. 30... So this was scheduled for my neighbor's yard? Yeah, but we accidentally put your address on it instead. So it's okay. You don't have to pay for it. We'll just do it for free. But it's going to be like 30, is... 30 tons of rocks on your lawn. Okay, okay. but what, like on my grass? Yeah, on top of the, you won't have grass anymore. You're going to have rocks from now on? Okay. I, I mean, I would rather have my grass. <laughs> We're uh, selling the house. <laughs> yeah, well, this will be a good selling point because they won't have to mow the lawn anymore. It'll be easier to upkeep well, the whole thing. Well, it's our, we've already sold it. We're, we close on the house in a couple of days, so I don't want anything done to the house. <laughs> oh, well, you know, they won't touch the house. They're just going to do the lawn. They're just going to put rocks down. Well, I don't want, I don't, I don't want the lawn done either. <laughs> oh, well, it's too late because the trucks are on their way. There's like six trucks full, six truck fulls of rocks. They're going to be dumping them on your lawn. They're going to put tarps down where all the grass is. Is this and, a joke? <laughs> oh, no. No, I wouldn't kid about this. Yep, and they're, they'll spread out the rocks, and it, it'll look really nice when we're done. They're, they're like, um, like uh, you know, brown, different types of brown, sandalwood. Okay, well, and, I mean, I don't want it done. I didn't order it, so I'm very confused about why they're coming here. <laughs> well, it's free, though. Like, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. Just don't worry about it. Just let I, them do it. No, well, no, my, my in-laws are buying the house. They will, I'm sure they want grass. <laughs> How do you know that? Let's, let's get them on three-way. We'll, we'll ask them just to be sure. No, that's, I mean, that's okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure they'll like it. It looks much nicer. Like, I looked at your house on Street View, and it looks like, it looks like a hobo lawn. Oh my gosh! Okay. Well, I'm I'm sorry to be <laughs> blunt. It's just really like it's looks kind of low rent to me. The the rocks will kind of brighten it up. No, I mean, I mean I got, who is this again? What company are you with? I'm with True Green. Um, my name is Big Dave. What is the? How do you spell the company name? Uh, T R U E, and then Green. Oh, true green. Yeah, I yeah. What do you think, think I was saying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how did you get my number if I've never contacted you? Uh, we um, share databases with other other local companies, so it was just in the computer. Okay. Um, well, I would like the treatment not done to my house. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're already going to do it. They're on their way. They have their orders. There's really no stopping them them at this point. How can you not stop them? How can you not call them and tell them not to do it? Well, it's just that it's in the computer, and they already have the paperwork. Like, what else are they going to do today, basically? Like, and there's yeah, but I mean, I don't want it done to my lawn. There, there's, so. there's another company coming in with the rocks. Like, that's a third-party company. They're going to come in with dump trucks full of rocks and just dump them on your lawn. Like, it, it just it has to happen at this point. There's no stopping it. I don't understand why it has to happen. It's my house. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a mistake. It was my secretary, Carol. She put the wrong house number in on the form. Okay, well, I don't understand why your company can't do it to my neighbor's lawn and not to mine. Uh, no, it's okay. We'll pay for it. Um, we'll just. Well, do I understand, the, but I don't want it done. We'll do the neighbor's lawn. Um, you know, we'll do theirs, too. We'll just do theirs, like, maybe on, on uh, Friday. We'll do yours today. Okay, well, I mean, it's very nice for you to offer it to me, but we don't want it. No, it's okay. It's a business expense. It's, it's all a part of doing business. Not a <laughs> well, can you find a different house to send it to? <laughs> no, no, it was like it was supposed to go to a diff different house, but it went to yours by accident. Okay, well, I'm, I mean, I've all I can do is call the gate and tell them not to let them through to come to my house. <laughs> so, oh no, they have the code. I mean, I don't want... They, they know how to get in because um, one of the workers lives there in the area. Okay. So well, I don't really to... understand why they're coming to my house. Yeah, it was just a, it's just a clerical error. It, it was Carol. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, not, not, I... a, not a big deal. It's just, it's going to happen. Just let it happen.
Just leave oh, them. Well, no, I don't want it to happen. Just I'm very confused. Leave, <laughs> leave them alone when they get there. Don't bother them. They've got work to do. Oh, okay, great. Well, I don't want them to do the work. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, just like don't bother them, though. You know, just stay in the kitchen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Is that it? Uh, yeah, yep, that's it. Rocks on your lawn. At least you're not going to live All there, right. though, right? Well, I mean, my in-laws aren't going to want to be there, so I guess I'll figure it out when they get here. Do you really like your in-laws that much? I do like my in-laws that much. Okay. Well, they're going to appreciate the rocks. They look really nice. <laughs> okay. Like, you, have you ever seen a yard with rocks in it? It looks fucking amazing. Just let it happen. <laughs> It's I'm Big so Dave. <laughs> Big Dave. Yep. I don't feel like you're a real person, Big Dave. <laughs> you think like I'm a robot or something? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of rude. It's a legitimate. Yeah. Well, you said that my lawn looks like a hobo lawn. So. <laughs> yeah. I was just being honest. I'm a brutally honest person. All right. I'm sorry. But it's true. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. We'll have to talk to the about it because they do our lawn. Oh, you need to, like, you won't have to pay for that anymore. Like, you don't need them anymore. You're going to have rocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Who's that in the background? It's not anyone. <laughs> oh, you got someone over. I see. No. <laughs> I heard a guy's voice. It's the television. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't worry about it. It's just between us. Okay, great. I won't tell your husband. Okay, I appreciate it. No problem. I'm very confused about why there's somebody who come into my house to jump rock. I've explained it are. to you. I've explained it to you many times. Like, okay, it's like you're it. high or something. Okay, great. I'll be on the lookout for it. All right, leave him alone. Okay, great. Thanks, right. Big Dave. Bye. Bye. Man, I, I'm really glad the list is almost over because I'm completely failing at like like anybody caring. They they just think it's funny. Everybody thinks it's a big old joke. Well, that's it. Nobody else is answering, so that was the last lady of the day. I'm glad it ended with her. She was fun. She reminded me of the cruise lady. She was very giggly. You know, the the lady that hated Polly Shore as much as I do. Anyway, let's listen to some voicemails. Hey, what's up, Bradley? Just want to say that I've been enjoying the shows. Keep up the good work. Thanks. And have a great day. Don't forget to say cactus. All right, cactus. I guess I have to say it. You're making it weird. Hey, Brad. It's Tireshine817 here. Um, How a good idea. Uh, you can call, like, um, haircut places. And uh, ask them if they can, like, trim your pubes or something. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> See later, bye. Shortest force mail ever. Oh, my God. I think he's right. Good job. Way to go. Hey, Brad. It's Nico J with the penis. Hello. And you should do more photo lab calls. You haven't done those in a while. It's true. Those are my favorite. I have not. And if you get a hold of some photo customers, you should tell them that you're going to auction off their photos to other customers that would be funny yeah it would wow. the reason i don't do those calls anymore is because i've stopped doing calls where i call in to businesses and trick them out of customer information but if anyone wants to send me some photo lab customer numbers using completely legal methods i'll definitely give those a try uh hey brad this is uh beckley hey uh, beckley. Normally i'd never uh critique or question your <laughs> but you're going content. to but as Mr. Biggs would say, you, you made a mixum up or an oopsie. Oh, shit. Uh, when you were... I was just listening to the episode about the wheelchair ramps. Mm -hmm. And when questioned about the blind postman drivers on Wednesdays, you, it's the perfect opportunity to explain the uh, Postal Service's implementation of the self-driving car. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Hello. Bye. Isn't it funnier to imagine a blind postman just, just driving somehow, using vocal cues? Like, turn here. 500 feet. It'd work. But yeah, I guess you're right. I should have done the self-driving car thing. They'd probably find that even less believable. 
Like, what? Self-driving cars aren't real. That's make-believe. Hey, Roy. It's T-Falcon. Hey, T-Falcon. It's been a while since I've called in, only because I haven't had anything funny to say. But Okay, so you're, you're saying just, you have something funny to say. Let's see how this goes. I went to my grandma's house uh, to spend the night, and um, I, I didn't know that I, I had um, a tab of your, your snowplow show open. Mm-hmm. Um, before I left, but I, I also had it playing. So my this, mom just called this me. joke's because, taking a long time to set up. Uh, she was walking by my room, and she just could hear your voice talking to somebody. And she was just like, what the heck? She was really confused. And she what was called I me saying? Up and she's like, what was I saying? Um, Roy is, is talking to your monitor right now. So That's I don't great. know. I just kind of kicked out of that. It's, I don't know. And yeah. she was like, actually, this is pretty funny. I might listen to it. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say. Okay, Bye, thanks, T-Falcon. I want to know what I was saying when your mom heard it. Was I saying, like, terrible things about women? Was she offended? Hey, Brad. Did I get you in trouble? wasted memory guy. Hey, Mike, wasted Mike, memory. Mike, wasted memory is your ba- whatever. Yeah, come on. Get, get to the point. Um, yeah, man, I nearly pissed myself though when you called the, the Village Deli. Everybody should call the Village Deli. Just everybody should call that place. Yeah, everybody Great. should. Everybody call um, the Village Deli. Yeah, that, that was a good call. Thanks. And, oh, shit. What else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, this is great. Um, yeah. Thanks for this. Nah, for 33 us. seconds. Um, I gotta eat 35 this taco seconds. Ball, this taco ball's getting cold. All right, bye. Uh, Wasted memory. Thanks for the voicemail. Goes on for another 30 seconds or so. Hope you didn't say anything. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, it's Corbin guy. Hey, hey Corbin guy. Hey, Brad. Do you remember that one time that I suggested that you shush people and you shush them? You did a shh, 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 quiet, quiet, shh, yep, yep. shh, hush, hush. Yep. Yeah, yep. Um, and it went very, very, very well, but I, I haven't heard any more of that idea. So I'm thinking I'm that maybe you ought to try that again. I mean, like, really try okay. it again? All right. It's going to happen. Go ahead and do an episode of I will do that. shushing, hushing I will do people. more shushing. You know, Thanks, Corbin I mean, guy. Uh, there's too many Thanks for calling. Like, hey, Roy. Hey. Now that uh, Alex Jones is kicked off of YouTube and Facebook, you should call people up and tell them about the latest conspiracy theories and maybe tell them that you work for Alex Jones and you need to help them out. Yeah. All right. Love you. I'm his intern. Bye. I'm his unpaid intern. Great idea. Hey, Arb. Spandit male stripper. Hey. Stripping his way through hematology school. All right. But it's not a joke. I really, I graduated in December. Um, so you're going to have, uh, you're going to have uh, an actual hematologist in your state. Holy place. shit. You're so, anyway, so much smarter than us. For hematology. People ask you your last name. A new last name you can use is Painal. You know, like, like penal, like the uh, like concept of painful anal and pornography. Oh, um, yeah, okay. But like, so, okay, say, hypothetically, uh, Royce again goes, what was your name again? It's like, hard to hear you. Time, you go, it's it's uh, Dave Painal. And then they go, could you spell that? And you say, sure, it's P-A-I-N hyphen A-L. And uh, I don't know, I just think it would be funny. Okay. If you the last name Painal. Writing it down. Um, if you could I'm going to do try it. it. Try one I'll do right it. Now. All right, bye. Took a really long time to tell me that. He still wasn't done. Hey, Brad. This is Court from Tally again, or should I say Court from Montreal. I'm calling I you don't from know. a Bell telephone inside the telephone booth in Montreal, Canada. Oh, shit. The phone number of this particular payphone is 514-287-2779. Just like your caller right, ID um, says. Bye, Brad. I think you posted a picture of that on the PLA Facebook group, right? I think. Maybe it was the Reddit. I can't remember. Hey, Brad. It's Max Power. So hey. I was just curious, with everything you got going up there in the Situation Room, yep. do you actually use a VPN? And if you use VPN, which one do you use? I'm just shopping around for VPNs and wondering if you had any recommendations. I'm pretty sure that you use one with all the stuff that you do. Nope. So I was just curious as to nope. what you use. So uh, keep up the great work, and uh, Cactus Cactus, thank you. I've only used VPNs for torrents, and that's what I'm using right now, is just a VPN for a torrent. It doesn't do anything else except torrents. Actually, the thing I use now for torrents is that seed box that I've got set up for the PLA that serves up all the old PLA media pack stuff, 
it works as a torrent client too, so I just got all my torrents through there. But before that thing, I used a thing called btguard, btguard.com. And I only use that for torrents too, uh, but they offered stuff, you know, that would do the whole computer. But I'm a cheapskate. I'm not going to use a VPN. Obviously, I don't use a VPN ever. That's why my house gets raided by the FBI all the time. Hey, Brad, it's Jack Heliquin. I just want to say it was awesome being on the show. Hey. I love your show. What? Right now, the prank call community. That was forever ago. Doing amazing. Everyone's more active now, and people are getting on YouTube. Yeah. And You're saying this just as XYZ has quit prank calling forever. Way to be a jerk to XYZ, Jack Heliquin. Having calling numbers and stuff is pretty awesome. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Me too. So fuck yeah. You kick ass. That's right. And uh, I'm going to be a loyal follower for the rest of my life, motherfucker. Woo! All right. I'm going to hang up before I Thanks, make myself cringe. Look at that. A nice, straight to the point voicemail that's only 28 seconds long, completely under the limit of 30 seconds. And yeah, you guys, XYZ, he's quit forever, he says. He claims. It's kind of a bummer. I, I listen to his show pretty much every single week, except last week, the, the one week that he decides to quit forever. He's been doing a show for three or four years, I guess. He says it's run its course, and he's ready to move on, do other things. So, I guess no more XYZ pre-shows for us. That sucks. He's the only one that does a scheduled daytime show that I can do a pre-show before. Everybody should visit his website while it still exists at xyzshow.xyz and listen to the final episode. He makes the announcement about the show being over around the end of it. I'm going to miss his show. I'll miss you, XYZ. Hey, Brad. This is Paul. Hey, I just want to know if you got your birthday card. Oh, I'll sing you happy birthday real quick. Oh, great. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday. Darkness falls in despair. People dying everywhere. But happy birthday. Thanks. I, well, I can't remember if I sent you a birthday card or not, so I'll send you another one. Bye-bye. I bet you did. Even though it's, like, nowhere near my birthday right now. That's okay. Send me birthday cards all year. I don't care. Hey, Brad. Raj here. Hello. Uh, about that PLA clock thing. Oh, the clock guy. How do you pronounce your name? Here, let's go back. Hey, Brad. Raj here. Raj. Uh, hey, about Raj. About that PLA clock thingy. Uh, you really made my hopes high by saying that you will make a video soon. Yeah, uh, I know. That's what happened. I'm going to. Tell us about that thing. It's the because of the heat up here. That's what it is. I'm in the attic. It gets really hot up here. I'm not able to spend as much time up here as I would like because of the stupid heat, but it's going to cool down soon. I'm definitely going to make a video soon because I said I would on the beginning of this show. Maybe even tonight, but probably tomorrow or something. I'll try to make a video. Sorry I've taken forever. I've been refraining from playing with the clock until I make a video. Back, which says to buy one, mail us on this, this, this. So, like if you think that people yeah. give shit about it. What was that? Um, let me know. We you're, can make certain comments. You're fading away. Or whatever you say. Bye, Brad. Bye, Raj. Thanks for calling in. I will have a video for you very soon. Either on the PLA YouTube or my personal YouTube or somewhere. Somewhere there's going to be a video. I promise. Hey, Brad. It's Nico. Just hey, calling Nico. because I had a question for you. Okay. Um, I was watching your government spending uh, snow puddle, excuse me, snow plow show. It's, it's Snow Plow Show, dummy. Episode 489, and um, that guy was telling you that he was going to write the city, and he was going to write the uh, news, and uh, make a stink about you wasting uh, your budget by digging great big holes all over the city. Yep, um, I just remember. I'm because I, I don't know what city that was in. Um, could you check telling. and see if that actually happened? Because <laughs> that would be awesome. That's all I got for today. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye, Nico. I don't think... That, like, what's going to happen, really? The city people are just going to think he's a crazy person because they know they don't do that. And if he contacts the news about it, they're going to look into it and find out that that's not real. Nothing's going to come of that. His letter writing is going to be completely pointless. Hey, Brad. Hey. Gordon Bombay. Hey, Gordon. Great episode. Thanks. Yacht Club. Yeah. Really cool, Brad. It was fun. You really pissed off some people. Good job. I sure did. Good boy. Thank you. You think that guy right, got bye. killed? He gave you those numbers? Uh, yeah, who knows? I Probably hope not. Probably sitting at the bottom of the ocean or lake. Yep. Cement well shoes. Well worth it. Good job, buddy. Thanks. That's not nice, though. Wish that guy would write me back. Yo, what's up, Brad? 
Hey. Gloria. Hey, Gloria. So right now we're currently sitting outside and there's a fucking UFO. Like, yeah. Dead ass UFO right in front of us. I'm not even kidding. Like I took a million pictures of it. Yep. Um, I'm and sure. by the way, I'm very flattered about the Rappy song. Oh, Quite sure. interesting. Yeah. I have started the whole Chupacabra phrase. Uh, thing, yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. You mentioned Chupacabra. Next thing you know, Rappy's writing a song about it in the very same episode. All because of you. Um, anyway, yeah. So if I get kidnapped or like, you know, the uh, men in black from knocking on my door and you never hear from me again, just, you know, maybe uh, okay. pour, some, pour some beer off me, man. Probably going to get kidnapped by the men in black. Yo, Poor loco, a you I'm going to send you pictures. It's crazy. Okay. Okay, bye. I can't wait to see your blurry light in the sky pictures. You know, there was a meteor shower the other day. It's probably just the meteor shower. That's all. Hey, Brad. Fuck, Mary kill. Carlito, Scarlett Johansson, Donald Trump. Oh, Okay. That, that's great. Good job on threatening the president's life. Uh, Secret Service, if you want this guy's phone number, just contact me. I've got it right here. I'll turn it right over to you. This guy's threatening the president. All right, last voicemail. Hey, Brad, this is Joe King from the uh, TLA Facebook group. Hey, Joe King. I was just got through listening to the uh, episode of government spending where a guy claimed that he was Mr. Pickles. Turn off your speaker. He is not Mr. Pickles because I... The real Mr. Pickle. Oh, great. This Anyways, a, this love again. Bye-bye. Thanks, Joe King. Oh, shit. Those clicks were the sound of the power going off at my house and coming right back on. I don't know why, but we get a lot of power failures here in the middle of the day. All the time. Luckily, I have battery backup on this computer, so I didn't lose my recording. That would have sucked. But I think that's a sign that it is time to end the show today. The other sign would be that that was the last voicemail. So the show is over. Everything in my room is blinking. All the lights are on now. Stupid hue bulbs. My desk phone is losing its mind. Everything's blinking orange. My internet's gone. The phone company generators next door are vibrating the house. I'm telling you guys, there's a power outage at least every couple weeks here. It's weird. I think they're getting worse. Anyway, thanks everybody for listening to today's show. Thank you, Lion9, Nikish, Stan Trucker, Buster Casey, and Carol Gertie666 for sponsoring today's episode. It's because of people like you that I'm able to keep doing these shows and do a lot of these shows. Way too many of these shows. So many shows. And I appreciate that. Thank you everybody for supporting the show. And if you want to support the show, please do that at patreon.com slash phone losers. You get a bunch of extra shows that way. You get the PLA ID card stuff. What a great bargain. You should be doing that. See you next time, everyone. Bye. It was going on 10 Friday the weekend. Me and Mike was up late. Parents were sleeping. But I don't want a blue line.